My name is Kirsty Mitchell. I'm a fine art photographer from Surrey, UK. For the past six years, I've been working on a deeply personal series called Wonderland that is created in memory of my mother Maureen, who passed away from a brain tumour in 2008. It is almost impossible to put into words what this body of work means to me or the person it's dedicated to. My mother was an English teacher of over 30 years. Her life's great passion was storytelling, literature and books, the way that art and photography are for me now. After I lost her, I needed a way to block out reality. She was my best friend. I felt I needed to do something that would celebrate who she was as a person, and creating this project as a book intended in her memory was how this journey began. To be honest, I prefer to call myself an artist with a camera as opposed to a photographer. The reason being the enormous amount of work I have to go through before I press the actual shutter. I design and hand make all the costumes, props and sets. In some cases it can take up to five months to produce every element for one single image. Sometimes the photographs are directly linked to the tales my mother read to me. They are inspired by the illustrations, the titles, the memories I have of us reading together. But nothing I make is a recreation of anything that already exists. I deliberately wanted to produce works that people would project their own ideas onto and lose themselves in, each being a visual fable within their own right. The narrative of the Wonderland series is best described as a crossover between fantasy and my personal journey through grief in the real world. My biggest problem is I'm a perfectionist, but for that reason it means that the photographs that I produce are the absolute best, the maximum that I can push myself to. And for that reason, despite how long they take, it also means I'm incredibly proud of them. One of the greatest reasons for me wanting to self-publish this book was that I needed to be in control of how those photographs were produced. I needed the book to reflect the exact same colour level, the quality and the detail that I put into my gallery editions. I needed to find a designer who was equally obsessive about detail and equally obsessive about quality. And I think this is the thing that excites me so much about working with Stuart Smith. Photography is about trust. And once you gain a photographer's trust and they understand that you understand about pictures, so then they can ask you about what you think. So the design isn't just about designing, putting it on the page. It's about thinking about the picture and why this picture is appropriate or why this picture works. Some are easier to do than others, but that is what I bring to the plate. I think different than what most book designers do, even photography book designers, is that I can actually edit the pictures or I have an understanding of that. Stuart Smith has produced over 700 photo books of the course of 30 years. His legacy is an extraordinary catalogue of beautifully produced books, and that is what I want to be a part of. So I work with uh, publishers, and I work with galleries, so I've worked with Tate Modern and the Gagosian uh, in New York and the New Museum in New York and Whitechapel Art Gallery. Uh, I also worked with a number of photographers uh, a lot of magnum photographers I've worked with, so Elliot Owit, Eve Arnold, Larry Towell, Luke Delahaye when he was at uh, Magnum. People like, uh, I've worked with Martin Parr. I design the book, we edit with the photographer, we, we lay it out, we look at the repro. So I do all the things in related to seeing what the picture's going to be like. And so you see every step so you know what you're going to get. And of course I'm doing it for book lovers, and maybe a lot of people aren't but I'm doing it for the people that know. I wanted the book to bring together the fantasy and the reality of this journey and the very special people who have come into my life because of it. I wanted all areas covered, the finished photographs, but to also document the painstaking process of their creation and what it was like to be there when I pressed the shutter. It is so much more than a photo book and for that reason it had to be big and bursting with all the colour and life that the series stands for. The books are being offered at three different levels. The standard book, the box limited edition, and finally the very special collector's edition. 
The Special Collector's Edition is really the ultimate for any serious fan of the series, and a complete indulgence on my part. It is extremely limited, as it will come with a bespoke solid bronze sculpture of the White Queen's Key. By teaming up with bronze specialist Derek Bailey to cast and recreate the original in such extraordinary detail has been an amazing experience and has finally brought the concept to real life. And we decided to go for more antique almost penny bronze buffed through finish that kind of would have happened naturally with something that darkened down and people handling it over and over again. We wanted to feel like it was loved because it was loved and handled and been around for a while and it's going to be around for much longer still. When I first started this project and I tried to trace back all the original editions of the books my mother read to me, I couldn't explain what a powerful thing it was as they arrived through the door. When I turned the pages and I looked at the illustrations, suddenly it was a direct link back to the times that I had with her. I could remember everything, the colours, the characters. This is something that I want to recreate in the book that I'm producing. I want to return to the essence of what a beautiful book is. The idea of families looking at these pictures, sharing them with each other. I guess I couldn't think of a more beautiful and perfect way to celebrate the person that I love so much.